Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a cystoscopy. But what does that actually mean? The lower urinary tract allows your body to store and release urine. It's made up of two parts, the bladder and the urethra. Your bladder is a hollow organ that expands as it fills with urine. Because it is made of muscular tissue, it can also contract and force urine to pass out of the body through the urethra. Your urethra carries urine from the bladder all the way through the opening in the penis. Your doctor feels that it is necessary to examine the interior of the urethra and bladder to try to determine the cause of the problem that you may be having. Symptoms that may call for a routine cystoscopy include persistent infection of the urinary tract, bladder stones, bleeding while urinating, irritation due to polyps, or changes to the bladder caused by cancer. Cystoscopy is a simple procedure during which your doctor will insert a well-lubricated instrument called a cystoscope through your urethra and into your bladder. The cystoscope allows your doctor to visually inspect the interior of your bladder. It also allows your doctor to remove small pieces of tissue for later examination and even to crush small bladder stones should any be present. Any tissue that your doctor removes from your bladder will be sent immediately to a laboratory for analysis. Your doctor will ask the laboratory to check for any sign of cancer or other abnormality. Because cystoscopy is a diagnostic procedure, there are few alternatives to the procedure. Most likely you're feeling some anxiety about this procedure, and that is perfectly understandable. You should realize that it's natural to feel apprehensive about any kind of diagnostic or exploratory procedure, especially one that screens for cancer. In some cases, the patient will choose not to have a cystoscopy, simply out of fear. But ignoring a medical problem won't make it go away. If you're feeling anxious, try to remember that the purpose of a cystoscopy is simply to find out what is going on in your body. So that if you do have a serious problem, it can be diagnosed and treated as quickly as possible. If you should decide not to allow your doctor to perform the procedure, you will be leaving yourself at risk for serious medical problems. The bottom line, trust that your doctor has recommended this procedure for your benefit. Don't be afraid to ask questions raised by this presentation and to talk openly about your concerns. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. Once on the table, your feet and legs will be placed in an elevated position with your knees apart. You will be asked to urinate so the amount of urine remaining in the bladder can be measured. And the nurse will swab the penis with an antiseptic solution. Your doctor will then lift your penis upward. A well lubricated cystoscope is gently inserted into the urethra, the opening at the head of the penis, and slowly guided inward. When the cystoscope reaches the back of the penis, your doctor will pull the penis downward in order to create a straight path into the bladder. Once the cystoscope is inside the bladder, your doctor will inject a small amount of water through the cystoscope and into the bladder. The water serves to expand the bladder, helping your doctor to better examine the interior. It also helps by washing away any blood or remaining urine. You may feel a sense of fullness as though you need to urinate. You'll be encouraged to relax and not to try to retain the water in your bladder. As the team completes the inspection, they'll be looking for suspicious tissues. If they find bladder stones, 
Your doctor may try to crush these so that they can pass out of the bladder during normal urination. If the team finds a suspicious growth, they will use a special grasping tool to take a sample of the tissue in order to send it to a laboratory for analysis. When the inspection is complete, your doctor will remove the cystoscope and you'll be asked to empty your bladder. Your doctor will probably ask you to wear a temporary Foley catheter. A Foley catheter is a narrow tube inserted through the urethra and into your bladder. The catheter is connected to a bag that is attached to your leg by a strap. While the Foley catheter is in place, urine will pass from your bladder into the bag. You will not need to urinate into a toilet. The nurse will show you how to change the bag when it's full. An appointment will be made for you to return to the doctor's office in a couple of days to have the catheter removed. As soon as the anesthesia wears off and you feel comfortable, you'll be allowed to leave. Most patients experience at least some pain following surgery, but if properly handled, it shouldn't present any serious problems. Pain used to be regarded as an unavoidable side effect of surgery, but today, pain can be managed with great effectiveness. And as the patient, you have an important role to play. Before surgery, be sure to ask the medical staff about the type and duration of pain normally associated with your surgery. Find out in advance about your pain management options. Work with the staff to develop a pain management plan. Discuss your options. There are alternatives to drugs that can lessen your need for pain medication. Ask your doctor for help in finding a pain management class. Many of these workshops teach helpful relaxation techniques, positive thinking, and nerve stimulation exercises. Following surgery, make sure to let your nurse know right away how you're feeling and whether or not you are in any pain. Be specific and help them to measure your discomfort. If you're having trouble expressing yourself, Try to rank what you're feeling on a scale from 1 to 10. Never be shy about asking for help. If you experience pain that just won't go away, report it to the nurse. Pain is an important indicator that helps you and your medical staff understand your body's healing process. Cystoscopy only rarely leads to complications. Unlikely but possible complications include excessive bleeding, damage to the urethra, damage to the bladder, infection of the urinary tract, or injury to the penis. At home, you should be able to resume normal activity as you feel able.